На земле большой волею судьбы Суждено ли нам с любовью встретиться На земле большой, где там бродишь ты А она так быстро-быстро вертится На земле большой у меня есть ты Так зачем она так быстро вертится? General's daughter. Part one. Hi, Dad. You can congratulate me. I finally made up my mind. Hey, girls. Listen, hey. where can I find Irina Kolchina? She's at the operating room. How come she's there? For your information, Professor Fedorov himself asked her to assist him. Exactly. Irina is a star now. <gasps> Everyone's going to be so jealous of oh, her. Oh, I don't know how Olga's going to handle the news. <gasps> she really wanted to be the assistant. Mm. I know, right? Rachmanov has been an excellent student for years, but <laughs> Professor Fedorov still chose Irina. Do you know why? Why? Because she's the greatest. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Who would argue with that? We wouldn't? No. A good assistant is half the success. It was a pleasure working with you. Thank you, Dr. Fedorov. Why thank me? Don't, don't be modest. You're a clever specialist with skilled hands. I think you have great prospects ahead of you. You can even become a good surgeon if you don't get too proud. <laughs> no, I'm sure I won't. Very well. Let's go to the staff room. You'll try to write a prescription by yourself and I will check it later. Hey, look who's coming. Oh, hey. Beautiful flowers. No, Are Olga, I'm sorry. I'm chance? waiting for Irina Kolchina. <laughs> Where is she, by the way? Um, she was actually at surgery. I saw how Fedorov took her to the OR, uh, but they've been in there for quite a while. Mm, well, maybe they're discussing the results of the surgery. Ah, what a man of principle. Not a single bad thought. What are you talking about? Mm, do you really not know that he's a womanizer? Do you know that from experience or gossip? I'm your friend. That's why I'm telling you the truth. Anyway, I have to okay, go. Okay, bye. That's all for today, Irina. Goodbye, Dr. Fedorov. Get home. Have some rest. <laughs> So glad that you're here. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that you're Fedorov's assistant now? I wanted it to be a surprise. Really? Didn't want to speak too soon. I see. Mm. Can you imagine? <laughs> Dr. Fedorov suggested that I perform surgeries myself. Really? Did he suggest mm. anything else? Pavel, dear, aren't you happy? I am. This is a great chance. <sighs> Who are these beautiful flowers for? They're for you, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Pavel. Can you imagine? I'll be working with Fedorov. Irina, please. <laughs> Who else would he choose if not for you? But you know you will remember this day for the rest of your life. I know, Pavel. I'm... I'm over the moon. I didn't mean this. <laughs> then what? You'll see in a moment. <laughs> so, Miss Irina Kolchina, will you become my wife? <laughs> right now? Right now. If you say yes, we can file an application today. Got your passport? Um, yes, but... No, no but. The most important thing is that you said yes. <laughs> we are going to solve all your buts together later. Agreed? <laughs> yes, Mom? Pavel, it's already three o'clock. Mom, listen. I had some work to do at the hospital. No, nothing serious. 
I hope it was nothing important. Have lunch without me. Don't wait for me. I won't have lunch without you. Well, all right. I'll come by later. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You see, my mom is very peculiar. One shouldn't just start a direct conversation with her. Yeah, you see, I can't <laughs> tell her about our marriage over the phone. That'll be just difficult for her. But you can't propose to me so spontaneously, without any warning. If I'd known, I would put on something more appropriate. Irina, there can be no comparison. You are young, but my mother is in her golden age years. She gets anxious about everything. Come on, go ahead. Hurry up, hurry up, everyone. My baby, what's going on? Are you hungry? Be patient. Your mommy will be here soon. Take it easy. Take it easy. Where is your food? Where is your food? Ah, here it is. That absent-minded Dasha forgot to buy your food. Hello? Sonia, are you busy right now? Not really. Listen, could you do me a favor? Could you go to the corner store and buy me um, some food for Steve? Yes. I let Dasha go, and Pavel is running late. But my kitty is hungry now. Of course, no worries, Mrs. Mission. I'll do it. Well, let's go somewhere in the evening to celebrate this event. Pavel, I think it's time that you introduce me to your mother. It's such an important day. We filed for marriage. You see, my mother is ill. She suffers from high blood pressure. Mm. Any unexpected news can make things worse. Mm. Give me time to prepare her for the news. You care so much about your mother and her anxiety. Everything is going to be OK. I promise. Here you go. OK. Mm. Bye. My kitty, my love, I'll feed you right now, my handsome boy. Have a seat. Rest a bit. Let's have a chat. You know, Sonia, I've been feeling very anxious these last few days. Pavel is always late. I don't know. I feel like he's hiding something from me. <laughs> Our children are grown-ups now. They won't tell us everything they do. But it's not good that they don't tell us everything. It's time for him to get married, I think. Sonia, I think our children should marry each other. Your daughter is an easygoing girl. She's exactly the type of daughter-in-law I need. Uh, oh, it's all day. Thank you for your kind words. My Olga has liked your son since childhood. The thing is that he's had other girlfriends. Mm. And to him, my Olga is just another friend. They've known each other since childhood, and he doesn't even notice her. Olga should be a little more clever, and she should definitely be more charming. That's exactly what I think. It would be such an honor for us, Isolde. What an honor. Very well. Go now. I need to get some rest. I'll think about what I can do. When Olga returns, tell her to please visit me. Uh-huh. Okay? Okay. Well, go now. Go. The marriage is in a month. <gasps> I'm so happy. Oh, cool. <laughs> you'll finish your residency, obtain your certificate, and you'll get married. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> Arena, you are so lucky you found such a guy. I can't believe it. Yeah, Galina, you're right. You and I will stay in the middle of nowhere prescribing enemas to the elderly. <laughs> You can become a great doctor if you work in the province. You'll get so much experience. Mm, they say a country doctor is much more experienced than a professor. Mm -hmm. Easy for mm. you to say you stay in the capital. Uh, Galina, stop it. Tell us something. Are you inviting us to the wedding? Exactly. Of course. What would I do without you? <laughs> mm. Thank you, guys. I was starving. Mm. Mm. Galina, lend me your mobile. Mm. I ran out of money and I have to call my mom. Let's ask the concierge. She doesn't allow intercity calls. I'll distract you. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thanks. <sighs> How come some people get everything in life 
and others get nothing. <sighs> I wish I had a body like Irina's. All men would be in love with me. Well, there's nothing to do. Um. Hello, Mom. May I? Oh, <sighs> look who's come. Hey, haven't seen mm -hmm. you in a while. Just came out for a second and I found her like this. What, blood pressure again? Yes, high pressure again. It's been such a rough day. Steve didn't have anything to eat, and he was crying and crying. My heart almost stopped. I spilled my coffee, one thing on top of another. <laughs> Thank you, mm. Olga. She came by, she helped me lie down, measured mm. my blood pressure. Yeah, we are lucky to have such neighbors. <laughs> well, thanks, Olga. I'll take it from here. If you need anything, give me a call. Oh, goodbye, goodbye Olga. Mom, really, you shouldn't get so worried about your cat. Mm. Steve, if you disappoint Mom again, you'll live in the streets, got it? You can't drink coffee. It's bad for you. I know. Go have something to eat. I've made lunch. Hi, excuse me. Please come up to our room. It's really urgent. Everyone suddenly needs to see me, and it's all very urgent. <sighs> what is happening, dear? I'll show you. It's really urgent. Mrs. Vasleva, please, have a seat. Please, come in. We need your advice. Here's a piece of cake for you. My mom made it. I'll make tea mm, now. Thank you. Mrs. Vasleva, so here's what's happening. What happened? Can you imagine? Irina Kolchina's getting <gasps> married. The wedding mm -hmm. is in a month. And she's getting married to Pavel Mission. Professor Mission's son? Really? Exactly. She's so lucky. Klava, don't be jealous. A little bit. Uh, can you help us? We don't know what to give her for her wedding present. Yeah, we can't think of anything. Please, have some cake. And what if you give her? A china set? <gasps> Money. Mm. The wedding is in a month. Um, why won't you come? What happened to him? Mm. Okay, I'll come and have a look. Give him my regards. With Pavel, of course. Okay, Mom, I can't talk now. I love you. So how do you find it? Delicious? Oh, oh here's, here's the bride. bride. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. They say you will be the general's daughter-in-law. Oh, no, why? Pavel's father is the surgeon. Oh, you're such a fool. Such an innocent and naive fool. <gasps> He was a general of the medical services. So be happy and pray to God your future mother-in-law won't be a bitch. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Girls, I think it's time for me to go. Yeah. No, not at all. <sighs> See you later. Congratulations. <laughs> so, I did it. Well done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why didn't you finish the soup? Not tasty. I don't like when Dasha cooks. When you get married, then you can complain all you want to about your wife. But don't complain about Dasha's cooking. Yeah, Mom, uh, I wanted to tell you that we... that No, we... I understand it all. It's all about time. Olga will be a good wife to you. She's hard-working. Pour my tea. She is responsible. Well, she isn't really beautiful, but it's difficult to spoil our bloodline. Mom, how many times have I told you don't try to marry me off? All right, all right, calm down. I wanted to talk to you about something else. Today I called Dad's old friends and they agreed to help you find a much, much better job. What job? What about my PhD? Science today is not lucrative at all. On Tuesday, in the morning, you will go to the city's health committee and find Mr. Ivanov. They really need a young, promising epidemiologist. You're going to be working in the position of the Senior Sanitary Office of Russia. Mm hmm Yeah. To spend my whole life in dumpsters, looking for flu viruses, go to shops, and look for cockroaches. Why not? There have been great medical experts from all over the world, even among sanitary experts Pasteur, Mechnikov, Gamaleya. Oh, Mom, how do you know that? Did you forget that I, too, went to medical school? 
I didn't become a microbiologist only because I devoted my whole life to your father and to you, my dear Pavel. With the help of nurses and housemates. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Now Pavel's mother will certainly like me. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? To see Stas or Lev? No, Mom. Neither Stas nor Lev. I'm going on a date. An important one. With Olga? Mom, I've told you a hundred times, Olga and I are just friends. I'm having a date with Irina Kolchina. She's a doctor, and she and I are... Uh... My God. You didn't even mention her to me. What is her name again? Irina Kolchina. Future surgeon. And Professor Fedorov said she's the future of Russian surgical science. She assisted him today with How... an operation. How can you dare to say Fedorov's name in our home? He was your dad's... Worst enemy in the whole world. Mom, don't exaggerate. Fedorov was never Dad's enemy. Yes, they had some disagreements. A different vision on medical procedures, so what? I don't want to hear anything about this arena at all. Since she's Fedorov's student, not a single word about her. God, I'm, I'm unwell. Where are my pills? Where are my pills? Mom, you already took your pills today. You shouldn't take more. At the end of the day, Irina is a good girl. When you meet her, I'm sure you'll like her. Pavel, are you going to get married? I really like her. If you want, we can come over today and you'll see for yourself. No, not today. I've had enough stress today. Look at her. Federal student. I really, I wonder how that happened. Mom, you're being unfair. See you later. Hello? Sonia? Is Olga at home? No? Come over. Immediately. Yes. Okay. Sonia? Did Olga tell you that Pavel is having an affair with some girl? Oh, what's her name? I forgot. One moment. Irina Kolchina. Yes. Mm -hmm. She mentioned I something. See. Sonia, do you remember how I persuaded my late husband, God rest his soul, to get a state apartment for you in our house? Your daughter, Olga, with awful grades, was accepted into medical school thanks to me. How much good I have done for you? Do I not have the right to expect some kind of gratitude from you and your family? But I am very grateful, and all guys, too. But you and I had an agreement for our children to get married. Do you have no memory of this? If I had known that he was dating some girl named Irina Kolchina, I would have been able to stop this affair. It's all this just, I thought, it was his private business. I didn't want you to get offended or Pavel to find out. You thought? You shouldn't have thought. You should have come to me and told me everything. Pavel doesn't need a wife who's a surgeon. Besides, since he is some parvenu, you should be licking my boots after I chose your Olga as the wife for my incredible, handsome, and successful son. <sighs> they are right. Stupid people are like cripples, totally useless. It's all please forgive me. I'm a fool. It's all my fault. Just calm down. You shouldn't get this anxious. Everything will be all right. You know, Pavel, he's, he's a man of temperament. He's amorous. He's, he's still young and he's fabulous. Don't judge him, please. Yes, you're right. Amorous. Olga, let me warm it up. Mm -mm. No, I don't have time. I have to do work to do in the laboratory, so I came by to eat something. 
<laughs> Guess what? It's all the question me again. Mm -hmm. Pavel just told her about his new girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So she got really annoyed that you didn't tell her anything before. Why? Me? Can you imagine what would have happened if Pavel found out that I had told his mother? He would never forgive me. He thinks I'm his friend. Mom, why am I so blind and naive? Daughter, you should have told her everything before. Oh, no, I shouldn't have. She has done a lot for us. Besides, maybe... Maybe what? What, maybe? Honey, to be sold as daughter-in-law wouldn't be that easy. But you have to worship her all your life. Don't forget it. For a man like Pavel, I would have dealt with this all day. Are you happy now? I have to go. Bye. We expected that. As soon as I told my mom about you, she got high pressure, a fever. Obviously. Although she should be ready for that, after all. You're a grown-up man. Please understand. She has devoted all her time to me and Dad. Now, I am the meaning of her whole life. So? So, I can't promise you an easy life. <sighs> but, after all, you choose if I am suitable to be your husband or not. But, I love you. I want to be with you. This is my life. Of course, we'll live at a different place, but we'll have to visit her, if not every day, at least every other day. <laughs> I got it. Pavel, do you know how much I love you? I love you so much that I like your mother. Even right now, I want to go and meet her. Not now. Let's do it tomorrow. I can't do it tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to see my patients. And on Thursday, I have to help uh, Dr. Fedorov with his surgery. By the way, about Fedorov, his name is not allowed to be said in my home. I know about it. I remember the disagreements between them. I promise I won't annoy your mother. Yes. Uh, listen, um... Maybe, uh, uh... Maybe we should have rescheduled the marriage. You don't want to get married? No, I didn't change my mind. But since you have no time to meet even your future mother-in-law, maybe you won't have time to get married. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's do this on Wednesday. After the conference, it will end at 5 o'clock and I will come to meet your mother. At 6, is that all right? Well, okay. Come on, stop writing this, let's go. <laughs> all right. Mrs. Mission! Olga, why didn't you call me? Uh, it's I'm really sorry. bad I, manners, I, my dear. I, I just have bad news for you. What? So I couldn't tell you about that over the phone. Is Pavel okay? Everything's okay, it's just that he's getting married. And they have filed for marriage. He hasn't told you, has he? Kolchina, my classmate. She came from some village. Provincial, you know how provincial girls can find husbands. Provincial, so provincial and persistent. A workaholic. Professor Fedorov's favorite. We don't need that. Sh she'll become your daughter-in-law in a month. You're not making this up, are you? No, I just heard it with my own ears. They are planning to rent an apartment. Well, let them dream. You can go. Go, my dear. Uh, Thank you for uh, not forgetting about me. Yes, uh, yes. Forgive me, Mr. Mission. Is a cadet commission a relative of yours? Mm-hmm. I'm his son. Wow. Unbelievable. Why didn't you follow your father's footsteps? Your father was a gifted and successful surgeon. Well, you know, I am afraid of blood. I fainted at my first lecture on anatomy. Oh, I mm. see. There's no blood here. But instead, all sorts of germs, viruses, and plenty of dirt. This position, Mr. Mission, is not the most pleasant. It's about the identification and elimination of the causes of infectious and parasitic diseases. 
sanitary and epidemiological examinations. Then there will be a lot of business trips and a lot of control, 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 and again total control. Don't be shy. Eat. Help yourself. The tartlets are fresh. Doctor no, just made thank them. you. I'm not really hungry. Oh, come on. You're not hungry? You and I have known each other for decades. I can see right through you. Of course, you're not used to delicacies. Well, anyway, I have a problem, Sonia. Pavel has decided to get married, and not to Olga, unfortunately, but to some type of upstart. A provincial girl, Fedorov's protege. But this cannot happen. We need to think about the ways to destroy their it's relationship. Only what can we do in this case? Pavel is a grown-up man. We need to accept his decision. Maybe the girl isn't bad at all. But if it doesn't work out, you can sell the apartment and move into different houses. Are you out of your mind, Sonia? What are you saying? You've always been a fool. So listen, I've decided everything. Olga must seduce Pavel. And she's going to need to get pregnant fast. And I'm serious. It's all the things cannot be controlled. Unfortunately, your Pavel doesn't like Olga. And the only thing we could get is ruin their lives if we force them. Oh, my side hurts. Oh, oh it's probably the weather. Mm. Delicious. I told you. <laughs> she wasn't hungry. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. It's a shame anyway. It's a shame you didn't become a surgeon. A complete dynasty will disappear. Why disappear? On the contrary, M Mission's dynasty will remain in surgery. My future wife is now an assistant to Professor Fedorov. He also thinks she's the future of Russian surgical science. When we get married, Irina <laughs> Mission will work for the dynasty. I see, I see. I can see the wit of your late father in you. You first in everything. Well, I wish you all the luck. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yes, baby. Hey, yeah, listen, I'm free now. Hey, well, all right, we got a deal. See ya. <laughs> Clam? You should take... In one second, Professor. Dry up? My luck went numb from standing. Camp. Instead, take. Please, Professor, wait. Another clamp. Dry up. What a job you found for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. This old wench was telling me for half an hour how interesting it is to dig up filth in trash cans. You don't understand anything, Pavel. Today, when you have so many foreign goods and counterfeit products out there, a sanitary officer has become a very important person. You have all the contacts that you need and a PhD. You will become a doctor of sciences, just like your father was. Yes, he would be so happy and proud about you, absolutely. So, when do you start work? The day after tomorrow. Uh-huh. By the way, about your marriage, when will you be inviting Irina to our home? Whenever you want. Well, bring her today, then. No, today she can. Mm -hmm. She has her first independent surgery with Professor Fedorov. Ah, she was really able to start working quite quickly. She must be quite talented then. Fedorov, you say? Hmm, isn't she his lover? Seriously? Why are you looking at me like that? Alexei Fedorov was always a womanizer. It's the second time she's assisted him. What does this have to do with it? She's his best student. So listen here. I want you to bring this best student tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We'll come at 6. She'll be at the conference until 5. My God, she's still a resident, but she is already so busy. 
How are you going to live with such a busy wife? Tell me that. I'll deal with it myself. I'll solve the problems, don't worry. No, son. No, my dear. It is me who will deal with it and solve the problems with her. Mom! I beg you, don't get involved. Pavel, what is it? I didn't contradict you. I didn't contradict you. But how dare you talk to me in such a tone? I think this is her influence, obviously. I just can't stand it. Mom, forgive me. Mom, please. May God forgive you. Tomorrow at six, I will be waiting for you and your Irina. Dr. Fedorov, please forgive my harshness. No need for apologies. It was my fault. I shouldn't have interfered with my recommendations. Irina, I have a gift for you. This scalpel was gifted to me by an outstanding surgeon, Nikolov Mosov. I was his intern in Kiev. So now, I'll give it to you. Take it. Colleague, accept it. You deserve it. Thank you so much, Dr. Fedorov. Congratulations. Congratulations to your amazingly performed operation. <laughs> now, my dear Irina, let's have some tea. I have some excellent British tea. Dr. Fedorov, forgive me, but I have to leave. All right. I want to see how my patient is doing. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, Irina. Congratulations again. Thank you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Eat, eat more. Well, what's wrong? These are just donuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Clava. Um. Hi. Hey there. Uh, hello. I'm going to the <sighs> shop. Will you come with me? Oh, no. I think I got uh, food poisoning. <clears throat> Are you okay? <coughs> oh, poor girl. Poor thing. <sighs> Baby, what did you eat? <sighs> Does it matter what she <sighs> ate? Come on, <sighs> call an ambulance. Oh, I don't need an ambulance. Girls, I'm pregnant. Listen, I'm so unwell. <sighs> Bring me some You're water. You're pregnant? Mm. From who? Pavel? Does it matter? Bring some water, mm. come on. Congratulations. Just don't worry, your wedding is in three weeks. Nobody will notice at your wedding. <laughs> You'll already be married by then. So please just stop worrying. Does Pavel know? He doesn't. I just learned that myself. Ah. <coughs> oh, gross. <sighs> Listen, this is not the right time. Exams and I need to get a job. Listen, you should be thinking about your marriage now. All your exams, you will pass them, so don't worry. Think of Pavel and how happy he's going to be. Oh, I don't even know. He's so scared of his mother. If he says I need an abortion. Drink. Oh, thank you. Drink. Oh. No one will listen to her. If she doesn't want to, it's fine. You will give birth and bring up the baby yourself. Fedorov will accept you with or without a child. How did the operation go? He let me operate by myself. No way. You did the surgery? <laughs> Irina, you're so lucky. Mm. You got everything at once. Independent surgeries, wedding, a child. Mm. It's very difficult. You'll be mm. fine. Mm. There's no other way. <laughs> you're now the future <laughs> of the Russian sciences. Exactly. <laughs> if you started it all, work until the end. <laughs> That's life, baby. <sighs> Who will argue? We won't. Mm -mm. Irina, finally, here you are. Let's go. Where? Where? Mom is waiting at six. 
Oh, I totally forgot. Let's we'll buy some, some on our way. Hello, Pavel. Nice to see you, Irina. Congratulations. <laughs> if you come with congratulations, my birthday is in July. Oh, come on. Why are you hiding it? The whole university knows that you performed this operation with Fedorov himself. Then he said, like, forgive me, Professor, but I'll take things from here. <laughs> and how do you know about that? Proven sources. Fina, a nurse at the operating room, she told me. You performed an operation yourself and then almost cursed at her, yes? It's a lie. Fedorov suggested I perform surgeries independently. Besides, I never cursed. Wow, did you perform your first independent surgery? How is the patient? Is he still alive? Leave anything inside? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's alive. Anyway, let's go. Bye. Bye. I can't believe it. <laughs> Irina, what's wrong? Uh, uh, wait a second, Pavel. I feel unwell. Are you unwell? Uh, let's have, let's a have a seat right here. Uh, Are you better? Uh, 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 Are you pregnant? Aren't you happy? Um, uh, well, uh, um, uh, I just won't, it's just unex, it's just unexpected. What do you think? I thought you wouldn't be happy, and then you would want me to get rid of the baby. Uh, no, I'm very happy. Mom will probably be happy, <laughs> probably. Please, let's not tell your mom about it. We'll tell her later. Yes, you're right. Let's not tell her. By the way, I also have news. I got a job. <sighs> okay. Pavel, is that you? Yes, Mom, it's us. Mom, please meet Arena. She's Arena. Arena Kolchina. Hello, Mrs. Mission. Hello, dear Irina. Is that really your name? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, uh, please allow your future mother-in-law to call you just Irina. Of course. Let me look mm. at you, Irina. After all, you are soon going to be a general's daughter-in-law. The wife of my son. Have you heard about the academic mission? Yes, she knows of him. Yesterday, Irina performed an independent surgery, and it was the first one in her life. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, Pavel, go put on the kettle. Of course. Irina and I need to talk like women. Please, please sit. Thank you. So you're a surgeon. It's not a job for women. It requires strength. Why did you choose the profession of a surgeon? I worked as a nurse for two years after school. I saw a lot, so I decided to become a doctor. What do your parents do? My mom is a school teacher. Father worked as a driver, but he died 12 years ago. I was in the seventh grade. So you lived on your scholarship then? Yes, but I received a good scholarship. I got good grades and mom helped me. <laughs> How can your mom help you if she's a teacher with a very tiny salary, I'm sure? Two years ago, my mom got married to a lawyer. But when I lived on campus, the girls helped each other. Can you cook? Yes, I do. Well, this is good. Pavel loves good and delicious food every day. Tea's ready. Pavel, can I have a glass of water? Cold. Are you unwell? One moment. Are you sick? No, I'm okay. It's just stuffy. Interesting. Here you go. Thank you. Maybe it's because you're hurrying with the wedding, or perhaps you are in a hurry because the due Stop, date Mom. is quickly approaching. Keep silent, loser. You're a quick thinker, Irina Kolchina. Even became pregnant. 
How much vigor? What energy? You think you got pregnant from a general son and you will get everything? To make it to the top with no effort at all? Do you even know who the father of this child is? Mom, Irina is my fiance. Why are you saying that? Do you think that it's okay that Irina spends all her time with this old womanizer Fedorov? Everyone knows that he worships her. I know that. Fedorov would never do anything for nothing. He must be getting something, that's for sure. Pavel, I'm sorry, I can't stay here yes, any longer. Let's Please. go. You let's shouldn't have go. started this, Mom. Right now. It was all in vain, all in vain. We will still get married, we'll rent an apartment, you can visit us if you want. And where do you think you're going to get the money for that? Don't worry, Mom, we'll find the money. Whatever you think, the missions always knew how to adapt to anything, and I won't be the exception. Anyways, you probably forgot. I am a sanitary officer, I have a good salary. That's why you found the shop for me, right? Son, you just can't leave and abandon me. Uh. Please, Pavel, let's go. We need to discuss the preparations for the wedding. Mom. Pavel, go put on the kettle. I'm sure it's gotten cold by now. Mom, I beg you. I won't bite you, Irina. I won't bite her. Trust me. So listen, Irina, you will be living here. But we wanted to rent an apartment. I'll repeat again. You will be living here together with me. And you will become a member of our family. That means that you have to take care of me, of Pavel, and also take care of this apartment. Of course you will be doing this under my guidance. You mentioned renting an apartment. I really hope you won't leave a sick woman to die in an empty apartment in solitude. Mom, why these bad thoughts? Come on, stop it. We just didn't want to inconvenience you. My family cannot inconvenience me in any way. So when are you going to be getting married? In two weeks. Well, let it happen then. Get married. The witnesses will be Pavel's friends, Stas and Lev. And your side? I also have two friends, my roommates. Will your mother and stepfather come too? No, my stepfather is sick. Mm-hmm, I see. We won't have a wedding feast in a restaurant then. We will have a modest lunch at home, and Dasha will make everything that we need. Mm. Well, I think it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. And thank you, Mrs. Mission. Thank God it all ended pretty well. Mm -hmm. Do you really think so? Mm -hmm. Pavel, I think... I won't handle your mother's temperament. I'm not sure Please, I'll Please, stop. It's just that she loves me a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you remember we wanted to live alone? In our own apartment? Mm -hmm. Silly, this isn't important. The important thing is that we are together. You, me, and our kid. <laughs> yes, Pavel spent a long time looking for a wife. But he found a provincial girl, an upstart with no family. She thinks she's so important. Did you give them your blessing? Of course, I had to do that because she's already pregnant. She has no shame. She's tried to turn Pavel against me. She wanted to rent an apartment. How did she even think something like that? Well, it's really nothing. I will show her where her place is. I'll fire the housemaid right away. At least I'll save money on this. Let her work as a babysitter, as a cook, as a housemaid. If she doesn't like it, she can leave at any time, and we won't miss her at all. She has no shame. Five years later. We're going to get dressed now. Have a bath. 
brush our teeth. Do you like brushing your teeth? Masha, why are you playing with him all the time? You're a big girl now, but you play with him like he's a toy. Here. Um, hello, Olga. Don't cry. We're coming now. Strong, my dear. You know that Sonia was like a sister to me. May God rest her soul. Olga, come to us at any time. Irina, coming? I'm coming. Olga, I'll send Masha to bed and get back to help you. Arms up. <laughs> Lie down. Get under the duvet. Come on. Yes, baby, yes. That's what I want most now, too. Agreed. Let's meet in 40 minutes. Uh, Irina, damn it! Where are my beige trousers? Find me an appropriate shirt. Pavel, you were going to work from home today. It's an urgent call. I need to check one cafe. They got a complaint. <sighs> Irina, uh. why is my robe in the basket with the dirty clothes? Tell me. Mrs. Mission, I forgot uh. to wash it. And did you forget to wash this as well? And this one? And this one too? When are we going to have order in our house? Why are you shouting again? What are you arguing about? Because your wife is absent-minded. She has absolutely no time to wash clothes at home, but obviously has time to go over and visit the neighbors. I am so tired of your constant arguments all day. Bye. Here. Pavel. Have a rest, Olga. I will do it, Olga. Let me. I wasn't expecting this. You're a kind person. It's easy to be kind when you have everything. I had some husband. Kids in nice shoes, a nice good apartment. You live a wonderful life. But I never, never get anything like that in my life. Even my mom is dead now. <laughs> Only you're mistaken to think that I'm very happy. I'm so humiliated. I can't take it anymore. I'm sorry for Masha. I would gladly leave this general's mansion. Pavel. Pavel, wake up. Mm. Wake up or you'll be late. Mm -hmm. Breakfast is on the table. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Masha, you're already dressed? Did you brush your teeth? I did, Mom. Good girl. We're gonna have breakfast now. Go to the kitchen with Dad. I'll be there now. Are you calling me at home because of this silly question? You're at risk of insubordination. I am still director of the apartment. I hope you never, ever forget that. Got it? 
Enough, I said. I'll be there soon. Good morning, morning Dad. Morning, Princess. Get at the table and eat. Where's Mom? She's getting dressed. Getting dressed? Today you are both very slow. I can't wait. I have to go to work. Oh, Daddy, you're always late. <sighs> you're starting to grumble just like your grandmother. Not at all. Masha, I have to hurry up. Then who's going to take me to school? Mom will take you. She has to go to work, and she's also late. <sighs> Irina, I can't wait for you. I have an urgent meeting. I'll see you in the evening. Bye. Masha, eat porridge and drink juice. But you haven't eaten anything. I'll have something in the hospital. Damn it. I'm in traffic. What can I do? Start the meeting without me. Crap! What is going on here? The lift hasn't been working for two days. There are buckets all around. When will there be order here? What are you doing? This is a complete mess. Mr. Mission, why do you get so worried? It's going to be okay. Mrs. Mission, I left breakfast for you on the table. Eat something, please. Irina, can you do me a favor, please? Buy 200 grams of cheese, door blue cheese, a box of chocolates, strawberries and chocolate, and a bag of English breakfast bread from St. Petersburg Bakery, okay? Fats, cheese, and chocolate aren't the best foods for you right now. At your age, they can cause high blood pressure. No manners at all. To remind me of my age like that. You've lived here for five years in our home, but you still haven't learned good manners. I've made oatmeal with dried fruits for you. And pancakes. <laughs> Are you now going to start telling me what to eat? <laughs> That's unbelievable. What happened? Be careful! Wait, stop! Don't do that! Be careful! Masha, hold ahead. here! Okay? Please, my car is ambulance! Mr. Fried, Don't go her. anywhere! Please! Someone uh, help careful, her! Careful, please! Don't touch Olga! Is she okay? Don't touch her! Don't touch her! Olga! Olga! Uh, Olga! Call an ambulance! I want to send you to Polianskas, to the head of the inspection committee. We have a documentary planned commission. You will have to inspect a restaurant and hotel complex called Rainbow. You are going to see what the managers have done so far to avoid mass poisoning and all the infection outbreaks too. We'll check it all. Everything according to the rules. The main thing is to make sure that the managers understand what they should do to remain in their positions. Thank you for your trust, Mr. Ivanov. Have a good day. Nina. I want to take Olga to the hospital. Please take Masha upstairs, okay? Don't worry, of course, no problem. I will you take go, her. Dear. Mm. I just saw her. Thank you. Please take her to Fedorov's clinic. I'm going to call the receptionist. I hope she's gonna be okay. Oh, help me, please. Hello? So this is Irina Mission. Get an operating room ready. I'm home. Yay, Daddy's back! Ooh, haha. <laughs> Masha, why are you home? Your wife just rushed off without giving any explanations. Okay, go back to your room and play there. She left the child, she left the sick mother-in-law, and the apartment is a mess. But you didn't pick up the phone. Oh, my dear kitty. Mm. I turned off my phone. I was at a meeting. Mom, do we have anything to eat? I have no idea what your faithful wife cooked for you. But she made porridge for me. How could she even dare? <sighs> I'm so tired and sick of it. Mom, I'm leaving for a business trip for a month. Where's my bag? Your wife should know that. <sighs> to hell with you all. Call her! She should come home and prepare your things for your trip. 
don't get mad. Here's your suitcase. <sighs> Dad, here, take your slippers. That way your feet will be warm. My dear, what would I do without you, Masha? Let's sit for a second. Oh, Steve, my darling baby boy. Mm, I love you. I just love you. you mm. Bye. Listen to your mother. In the meantime, your wife will drive me to the grave. That's for sure. Not this again. I have to go. When will my mom be back? <sighs> I have no idea. Pavel, I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. Irina. Are you completely out of your mind? This is very risky. But we will save her leg. <sighs> Dr. Fedorov, this is Olga. Don't you remember? We were both interns. What difference does it make? Don't waste my She's time! She's me. Don't you understand? She has no husband or children. She lost her mother recently. Let's try to save her leg. <sighs> I'm not going to participate in this scheme. If you want, assume all the responsibility and do what you think is right. I can say only one thing. I didn't know anything, so do whatever you want. I don't care. Thank you. Can I get ready for the surgery? Get ready! Let a poor beggar spend the night here. <laughs> opportunist. You're an opportunist, Dr. Mission. You got me involved in your scheme. All right. We'll see how things go. If there are no complications, you may consider yourself very lucky. And your friend should be grateful to you. She's not my friend. She's just a neighbor. Dr. Fedorov, please understand, we can't leave a young woman disabled. Okay, show me what you've written. Hmm. Man, huh? Makes sense. Now I see. This motivated your absurd decision. Are you going home? Should I give you a ride? No, thank you. I want to visit Olga. Uh, Thank you. Take care. Goodbye. <sighs> I'm so sad that you're leaving. Promise me that you will call me every day. I promise. Amazing this place. It's beautiful. Yeah, I could be here for my life. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have a holiday. I like the boss's idea better. Unfortunately, our CEO Arthur Karnovich is currently being treated in Israel. He will stay there for the rest of the month. Therefore, I will have to respond to all your questions myself. Mrs. Barmina. We are planning to check how the sanitary rules are being observed at your factory and the laws guaranteeing the rights of the customers. First of all, we are interested in how the work for sanitary anti-epidemic causes is organized. Moreover, we should conduct a documentary inspection of the whole factory. Well, here's the list of documents that you must provide us with to proceed, please. Check it out. Any information, Mr. Mission, will be provided to you. Moreover, I'm at your complete disposal. Well, gentlemen, let's proceed to check on the provinces. <clears throat> Pavel, why did you leave me without even telling me? I tried. But you didn't even want to talk to me. But now I cannot talk. Sorry. Mom, I don't want to 
want to go to school. You have to, baby. Will you pick me up? Of course I will pick you up. Irina, don't you think that our refrigerator is empty? Where are the yogurts? Where are the juices? <sighs> there's cheese, there's fruit, healthy food. Are you going to start teaching me what's healthy and what's not? Who do you think you are? The general's daughter-in-law, as you like to say. But you don't like being a general's daughter-in-law. Then you went and married a driver. Besides, you aren't really welcome here anymore. You can get your things, pack them, and leave. It's not up to you to decide. I will only leave this house with your son that I love. Well, we'll just see about that. Whether he will want to leave his native home. <laughs> with a wife like that. Mrs. Mission, I am sorry. How are you feeling? Just awful. I called an ambulance. But why? Let me give you your injection. Never. Just go. Open the door. The ambulance is here. Hi. Please come here. Where is she? Straight ahead. Thank you. A problematic woman and your mom. She's my mother-in-law. Ah. Uh, well, we didn't notice anything weird. We took her pressure, 135 above 85, and that's ideal for her age. Her pulse is fast, but nothing serious. She's fine. Thank you so much. In my experience... I think her mother-in-law is solving the problems in this way. Mm. And she convinced herself that she's sick. It is really important that she doesn't take more medicine, because she doesn't really need it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good one.
That woman's a gold digger. She is, but I would agree to become a boss only because he gets the most beautiful woman all around the world. You would agree? Mm, Who offered you this position? Really? Why do I get to work all the month while he's the only having fun? Look, what did you say when you got here? I dreamt of working here all my life. But Pavel dreamt about holidays. So you should know what to dream about. Uh. Give my regards to Serge. <laughs> and tell him that we love him and remember him a lot. Of course. <laughs> Good morning, Masha. Go back to sleep. We won't go to kindergarten today, Grand Maisel. Oh no, poor Grandma. <laughs> go to sleep. <sighs> Hello. Hello. How was your business trip? Eh, nothing interesting. Same as usual. How's my mom? She's better. I saw her. She's sleeping now. Yesterday, we called an ambulance. The doctor measured her blood pressure, and everything was fine. They refused to take her to the hospital. Damn it. Maybe we should ask Fedorov. She will stay in his clinic, undergo some tests. Will she agree? Of course she will. I'll call him. Call him? Don't worry, Dr. Mission. Nothing to worry about. We'll think of something. We'll be waiting for you. Mom, get ready. We're going to Irina's clinic. Never. Your wife and Alexei Fedorov will put me in the grave. Come on, forget all these stories and get ready. I'm afraid of them. Mom, aren't you afraid of a heart attack? <laughs> Come on, don't cry, get ready. Very well then. Tell your dear wife to pack up my things then. Well, what happened here? I hope she didn't get ill after fighting with you. There was no yogurt and juice in the fridge. She became agitated and told me to get out of the house. She physically attacked me so brutally. That's not true. She's making it up. It's just blackmail. Pavel, I don't want to see her again. Mom, this is my wife. Oh. Mom! I'll prescribe the medicine now and call for a nurse. Mrs. Mission, everything is going to be okay. This is just my responsibility to treat the wife of the academic mission that I always treated with great love and respect. Although till the end of his days, he was my implacable scientific opponent. Don't worry. You see, Mom, there's nothing to worry about. Pavel, dear, you really need to think of something. I really don't want to see her ever again. I won't return. Mom, get better now. When you return, we'll gather all together and decide what we can do next. If you insist, we will leave. How can you say that, Pavel? Oh. Okay. Hello, Olga. Already discharged? Oh, I totally forgot. Of course we'll meet you. Big kiss, bye. Masha, Olga's been discharged from the hospital. We're going to help her, okay? Let's go. And now, here's your new entertainer. Okay, 
Everybody stay there and take a look at the best show in the whole world. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> Irina, I feel so good. Now I know that Fedorov wanted to cut out my foot, but you didn't let him. You put it together piece by piece, spent all nights with me. Now I really owe you. Ask me all you want. Oh, please Yay! stop it. Oh! The important thing was that you're okay. <laughs> Only I don't know how you're going to manage all this alone. But I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> I already arranged everything. I'll pay someone to live in with me. Who? Who? Faya, a mm. nurse from the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when I get better, everything is going to be okay. Anyway, okay? Mm -hmm. Daddy, did you bring me a gift? A gift? Sweetie, uh, he got you a doll, but he left her in his office. Yes. Let's go have some dinner. He'll bring it to you tomorrow. Just don't forget about it. I won't forget. Have a good night, Masha. I can't live like this anymore. I can't listen to all the grief from your mother. What is she scolding you for? I don't look after the house. I'm bad at bringing up our daughter that I don't take care of you and her. When I get home, all I do is clean up. I do the washing, I do the dishes. Look at my hands. Do these look like a surgeon's hands? You can operate on people with hands like this. Yes, Mom was wrong. But don't worry, she'll stay in the clinic, calm down, and then I'll talk to her. It's useless, Pavel. But why is that? You know, Mom is a sensible person. <laughs> Only she wants a daughter-in-law who is a housemaid, not a doctor. Oh, please, you're exaggerating. I have a passion and I love it. You love it more than us? I love you and Masha a lot. They are two different things. So what do you suggest? Let's rent an apartment away from your mom. Are you crazy? Do you know how much that would cost? We also need to find a maid for mom, you know? I can't do it anymore. Well, be patient. This is my mom. I can't do anything. You're right. A heart of stone. I'm so tired of you all, so tired of all your complaints. Tired both of you and mom. I was annoyed at you during the business trip. I didn't feel right, but I had to conduct an inspection by the way. S stop it with the, I'm a surgeon. I'm a deputy director for the department. Don't yell at me. I'm still your wife and the mother of your child. <sighs> Sometimes I really think that I shouldn't have married you. Thank you.
have a headache again? No, Masha, I don't. Then why do you look so sad? I don't get it. I'm not sad. I'm thoughtful. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Mission. Come on in. You're looking good. Thank you. I already got a call from Polyansk. They said you did a great job. Very professional. Really amazing in all the way. Thank you, Mr. Ivanov. How's everything out there? Are there any problems? Ooh. They asked me to tell you that they still remember you, love you, and respect you. That's great. Really great. I wasn't wrong with you. Well, now let's do a report and wait for the order. The management is really happy for your work. So get ready for a promotion. Mm -hmm. So, patient Artusov. Will you take care of this patient, Irina? What's wrong with you? Are you unwell? I was making dinner and I cut my finger. The cut is really deep. I can't bend the finger. Please assign a different surgeon to patient. Dr. Mission, I didn't expect that from you. I've told you a thousand times that hands and brain are the main instruments of a surgeon. You've let us down, Dr. Mission. One surgeon less for at least a week. I'm so happy for you, Pavel, and you've done a great job. I'm sure you're going to finish with your PhD very soon. I really hope so, Mom. How are you doing? What did the doctor say? That I need to undergo a treatment. It will take 10 days. Excellent. Stay here. Get better. How are you going to live there alone, without me? Mom, I'm fine. I'm fine. And how is your... Irina? <sighs> we argued again, but mm -hmm. it'll be fine. How can you not worry about yourself, Pavel? Without me, she's going to drive you to the grave. Mom, stop it. You shouldn't get worried. Mm hmm Mrs. Mission, it's time for your IV. So I have to go. Give me a call if you need anything. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lie down. Olga, please take this. You've got some mail. What are these letters? Oh! Pavel! Hey, Olga, how are you? Hello, much better. As you can see, I'm so grateful to Irina. Yes, she's great. Are you going home? Yes, I'm writing a dissertation. Let me help you. Oh, that would be go. so cool. Thank you. Do you want some tea? <laughs> Why did you pick me up so early from school? Because all my patients got better. That cannot happen. It happens. Are you such a good doctor that all your patients are healthy? Yes, I'm a good doctor. Only you're right, Masha. I can't treat everybody. When will Dad come back? I don't know. He promised to bring me a doll. If he promised you, he'll do it. After that, I began to look really differently at people. I was almost brought back from the other world. So don't bother. I'll help you. I'll take care of your mother and help Irina around the house. So don't worry about that. I'll stay with Masha. No problem. I'm having a long holiday. Thank you so much, Olga. I didn't even understand how to solve the situation. You can see for yourself what's going on. Do you want me to help you with your dissertation? That'd be great. Very well. Agreed. So the girl ran to the blacksmith and said, Blacksmith, blacksmith, give me a good scythe. The owner will feed the cow. The cow will give milk. The owner will give me butter. Mom, where's my dad? Mm. He's probably late in the office. Tell me something. I won't have my doll? Great. Oh, here you go. Looks good. Look, thank you. Damn, my eyes are tired. Really? Maybe you want some more tea? Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, it's time for me to go. Uh, you know what? I'll come with you, or Irina will get angry. She hasn't even called. She doesn't care. Oh no. My phone is dead. Well, now I'm in trouble. Listen, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Come on, let's go. Where are you going? I'll cover for you. Come on. Wait! Not so fast, Pavel. Wait! Irina! Irina! Oh, Irina, please forgive. It's all my fault. Masha is sleeping. Why are you yelling? Oh, I'm very sorry. I was telling you that I invited Pavel for a cup of tea, but then I showed him my dissertation. So he started editing it. So he stayed up really late and lost track of time, you see? His phone is dead. Please, please forgive me. It was my uh, fault. Editing your dissertation? Okay, let's have some tea. Don't stand in the corridor. Irina, please forgive me. I'm such an idiot. Okay, I'm okay. sorry. Did you buy a doll for Masha? Damn it, I forgot. Buy it yourself. Pavel, to be honest, your child is waiting. Irina, I don't have time. Tomorrow I have to prepare the report from the business trip. By the way, I told Pavel already. I took some months off to do my dissertation and recover myself. I can help you around the house. Buy a doll for Masha. You see, Olga will help you. Pavel, be kind. Olga just went through surgery. You're making her work. No, no. I actually like it. You see, she likes it. If you refuse, I'll be offended. No, Golga, it's okay. Have a seat. Come on, just talk a little. I'll go to sleep. <sighs> I'm really tired. <sighs> Irina, sit down. Relax. Why, well, I sold these in the hospital. <sighs> Hello! Oh, well, hello, good dear. Look, I made you some of your favorite <laughs> Aubergine roulettes, as I promised. Well, I really hope you like them. Here, put them right here. <laughs> You're the only one who cares for me. Pavel is busy all the time. His wife comes here, of course, but I can't stand looking at her. I have high blood pressure when she comes over. Why would you say that? Irina's a good person and an excellent doctor. Sonia, Sonia, my dear friend. We were going to marry you off. But then she died way before her time. I'm so sorry about that. To be honest, I've always dreamed about Pavel. I still love him. Excellent. Together, we can change the situation. How? He loves Irina. Not, that's not true. He used to be madly in love with her. But now it's very different. So don't be afraid. I will teach you everything you can do. <laughs> Come on in. Okay? Uh, um. Let me take off your coat. <laughs> what are you doing? It's uncomfortable. Have a seat. Do you know how much I love you? Huh? I almost got a heart attack. Let me go. <laughs> you have no idea how much I like you, baby. You're mine. <laughs> Irina, I, wait, I will, I'll explain everything now. Let's go. Let's go. Irina, on, let's wait, I'll explain everything. We were working uh, here. Uh, here, look, we were working on our... Dis That's right, you were working. You always work like this.
Hello. Can you stay with Masha? I'm going to work and I'll, I'll be back soon. Pebble is busy. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Of course, we'll stay here. Let's go, kitty, well done. Let's draw something. What do you want to draw? Say bye to mom. <laughs> what are we drawing today? Grandpa. Granddad? Okay, honey. Dr. Fedorov? Yes? Here's the letter. Irina, what happened? Why are you quitting? Please sign the letter. I can't stay for a second in this city. But please don't ask me anything. Irina. Dear Irina, calm down. You shouldn't make decisions so spontaneously. Please. Calm down, please. I'll sign your letter. Irina. I thought I'd find a replacement for myself. I hoped you would be at operation instead of me. Thank you, Doctor. For everything. You're welcome, Irina. You're welcome. There you go, sir. Thank you. Hello, can I have two tickets, please? I need business class. I'm by the window. I'm here with my child. All right. 